In Thailand, people use bananas for many things. This ranges from using the fruits as food to using the leaves as container or wrapping. In Thailand, they eat bananas in many ways. Dried bananas, banana pancakes are very popular, just like banana ice cream and banana shakes. Another part of the banana that is used as food is the banana flour. In this video, I will explain the Thai banana, the cultivation, the tree, the leaf, the food and the use. Thailand is one of the largest exporters of bananas in the world. In 2022, Thailand was ranked 48th in the list of banana exporters. The total banana production is 1.3 million tonnes on an area of 62,000 hectares. The Thai word for banana is gluai. There are more than 100 varieties of bananas known in Thailand. If you want to buy and grow a real Thai banana plant, then the strain you have to look for is Musa acuminata, ex balbiciana. That's the Latin name for what Thai people call gluai nam wa. This is the most popular type of banana found in Thailand. Other strains are named gluai hom, fragrant banana, gluai kai, egg banana, gluai lep mu nang, lady finger banana, and gluai hak muk, banana plants, thrive in tropical regions where the average temperature is 27 degrees Celsius and they need a lot of water. The plants need rich, dark and fertile soils with steady moisture in the air and ground and good drainage. The plant grows to a height of 3 meters when mature. First the plant grows tall leaves, then a big pointy flower called an inflorescence appears at the top. The inflorescence has tiny flowers inside that turn into bananas. The bananas start off small and green, then grow bigger and turn yellow when ready to eat. A banana tree is not a tree, it's a herb. I explain why. Plants are categorized into trees, shrubs and herbs. Trees are those with thick woody trunks full of lignin that splits into numerous woody branches. Trees grow to a considerable height. In wider definitions, the taller palms, tree ferns and bamboos are also trees. Shrubs have several main stems arising from the base itself. The stem is tough and thick, but not woody as it lacks lignin. Lastly, herbs are delicate, soft and cute plants, lacking any woody substance. The main essence of why the banana plant isn't herb lies in the anatomy of its stem, which is not really a stem at all. The banana stem is relatively soft and lacks cellulose, hemicellulose and lignin, which would make the stem woody. In fact, banana plants don't even have a stem. It is a pseudostem, an imposter. This pseudostem is nothing but a bundle of many leaf sheaths enclosed into tight circular spiral rolls this grows upwards and when mature it bears flowers and fruits. Unlike trees, a banana plant does not even possess long fibrous roots, but rather a corm, which is a specialized root. A little offshoot emerges from an underground corm, forming the pseudostem. Therefore the banana plant is one of the biggest non-trees. The banana plant is one of the biggest herbs you'll ever see on earth. We probably call it a tree because it's tall, but it takes more than height to be in the elite club of trees. Conclusion Being tall is not everything. After all, the banana plant lacks all the anatomical features of a tree and only has the height portion. Hopefully you haven't lost your taste for banana from knowing that a banana is not a tree but an herb. Mm -hmm.